The next BGP attribute we're going to look at is the local preference. Now, if you have a look at the diagram, we have four autonomous systems displayed there. Um, we're sitting in AS400, and we see that AS100 is originating 160.10/16 address block. How do we get from AS400 to AS100? Now, if we are just ourselves, we walk into the office one morning, and we decide, oh, well, which way should I walk into the office? Should I walk into the office through the front door, or should I walk into the office through the back door? You can make a decision. It depends how you feel that morning, what you had for breakfast, whether you had coffee or tea to drink or something. But you can't really tell a router, oh, just, you know, just do what you feel like. Uh, what we actually do is we use an attribute called local preference, where you, the network operator, can configure BGP to give preference to one particular path over another. So what we're doing in this case is if we attach a local preference of 800 for the BGP announcement of 160.10.16 as we hear it from AS300, and we attach a local preference of 500 to the announcement coming from AS200. And then we look inside AS400, we'll actually see two paths. One path with a local preference 500, the other path with a local preference of 800. So the two paths in our autonomous system. Highest local preference wins, and so the best path from us to AS100 will follow the path with local preference 800 set on it. In other words, from AS400 to AS300 to AS100. So local preference is used to steer traffic out of our network. We attach local preference to incoming BGP announcements. The highest local preference determines the outbound path. So summarizing all this, Local preference is a non-transitive and optional attribute. You don't have to set it. And if you don't set it, most operating systems will use a default value of 100. It's local to the AS only. So local preference set in your autonomous system will not be used by any other autonomous system. It's used to influence the BGP path selection process, as we will see in a while. And it determines the best path for outbound traffic. And just a reminder, the path with the highest local preference wins. We've got some sample configurations here on the next slide. This one shows how it might be configured on Cisco IOS. And it shows the example from the diagram. So we have a configuration of a router in BGP AS400. Neighbor is talking to AS300. We have a route map, which basically is Cisco IOS policy language, which is looking for a prefix 160.10.16. And if the prefix is found, it will set local preference to 800. If the prefix is not found, nothing happens. The prefix is just passed through. So that's a sample configuration, as you might find it on a Cisco IOS speaking router.